Whether you're bike packing, you're on a long day ride, or just in general looking for extra storage for your rides, oftentimes the best place to fit that extra cargo is within your frame. In this video, we're gonna talk about partial frame bags, half frame bags and wedges as you see here, some uses for them, some ways of packing them, and some options out there. We have two types of partial frame bags, the first being a half frame bag that you see here. And this covers from the seat tube to where the top tube and down tube meet within the frame. The other is a wedge, as you see here, not to be confused with wedgie. This bag sits at the front of the frame where the down tube and the top tube meet. Some of the benefits with these bags, most of them are universal bags. What that means is they're not custom, and so they're probably going to be a little bit cheaper and they're probably going to fit a wide range of bikes. Another benefit is the access. A lot of them have dual zippers that you can actually access while you're pedaling the bike or obviously while you're not pedaling the bike. Another thing here is it's best for the bike center of gravity to pack some of the heavier items in your kit in the main part of your frame, the main triangle of your frame. Water is typically the heaviest item that you're gonna bring, so keeping it in that location is good. And a wedge or a half frame bag kind of rounds out and optimizes the rest of that area. For day rides, if you have a frame bag or a wedge, there's really no need to carry anything on your bars, anything on your seat, or anything on your back. These bags are also really great for smaller frames out there and full suspension bikes. And finally, these bags kind of just add a flair that make your bike look sexy. So for day rides, these bags are great because well, you could put everything in them, anything that you need. Uh, on this side, I've got my wallet. Taking a look inside this bag, we've got you know a beer for happy hour. If you need to go to the grocery store and pick up an item or two, this works. Obviously repair kit items, your repair kit, tube, pump, and also just snacks. Other great uses for this bag are obviously your sunscreen, maybe a mask, extra food, layers. You can be creative. And then obviously using it for bike packing, I can fit more camping oriented gear, such as a first aid kit, a water filter. Again, my full repair kit, tube, pump. It's always a good idea to have easy access to your trowel because you never know when you might need to go. And then tucked all the way back here, I've got my stove kit. Again, you can be creative, but these are just some ways that I've packed this specific bag for bike packing in the past, trying to keep things that I readily need up front here. And then for instance, this stove kit in the back, I'm not gonna use it until I get to camp, so I don't need it to be accessible. Other items on the non-drive side, you know, things that I might need during the day, some chain lube, my wallet, a mask, some hand sanitizer. First and foremost, I wanna to touch on two of my favorite options, the ones that you've seen in this video. This is the outer shell half frame bag, and this bag comes in a small, medium, and large. This specific one is a medium, which is 3.1 liters. This bag fits my 56 centimeter Salsa Warbird really, really well, and so it kind of was living on that bike for a while. I used this bag last fall for a tour up through the state of Minnesota, starting in Iowa and going all the way up to Canada. And it worked really well paired with two water bottles within the frame. As you saw previously, it's got a pretty decent sized capacity where I fit quite a bit in here. The bag itself comes with a variety of little daisy chains here to help accommodate either a top two bag or just fit your frame nicely. And the dual sided zippers are super, super nice. It's got these little pockets on the other side of the zipper here. And then the non-drive side compartment here fits smaller items like my chain lube, my wallet. You can fit a map in here if you want. The bag also has a really nice structure to it. This foam padding kind of creates not only that nice structure, but also protects the contents within the frame and your frame itself. In general, this bag has seen a lot of abuse but it's got plenty of life left to it and I've really enjoyed using it. This outer shell half frame bag is handmade in California. It comes in a variety of different colors and those three sizes that I mentioned, and you can buy this for $80. This is my favorite wedge bag that I've been using over the past few months. This is the Roadrunner Wedge. This comes in at 2.5 liters, is also made out of Cordura, and comes in just one size, as you see right here. So the Roadrunner Wedge is maybe a little bit small for my bike packing needs, but the beauty of this bag is it works extremely well on my day rides. I basically pack everything I need 
for 100 miles in this bag and it gets the job done. The bag itself is super secure on the bike. It tucks up really nicely to the frame. It's got a large daisy chain that wraps basically all the way around the bag here so that you can customize the fit to your specific bike. The main compartment is just a very large opening that fits quite a bit. And then this non-drive side compartment is pretty small, but it fits my multi-tool, my wallet, a mask, what have you. And then if you wanted to run a hydration hose or some electronics, it's got a port for that on the top here. And then a cool feature that I haven't seen on very many bags is just this little bit of, I think it's Haplon that protects the frame itself from the Velcro strap so that you don't necessarily have to actually wrap your frame with frame protector or frame saver. Finally, these oversized water resistant YKK zippers are super burly, not concerned about them at all. The Road Runner Wedge is handmade in Los Angeles, California. It comes in a variety of different colors and it'll cost you $90. So I wanna just ch chat about a few other bags quickly. So this is the Apodera Backcountry Frame Bag. This is a two liter frame bag. This bag comes in just this color as you see here. It runs for $108 and is made up of a laminated nylon and X-Pack. This bag is cool because you can use it this way and or this way. I've actually fitted on my full suspension salsa spearfish just like this. This bag has a variety of different mounting positions, two zippers on either side that actually access the full compartment. And overall, this bag has worked really well for me on multiple bikes over the past few months. Next up is the Discover Frame Bag from Pro. This is a 5.5 liter polyester and nylon made bag. This bag is really big, one of the biggest frame bags that I own. This bag is almost too big to fit my 56 centimeter cutthroat, so it fit a 57.5 actually pretty well. Uh, on the inside, you've got a really large opening with a divider, a Velcro divider. And then on the non-drive side, you have a full length zipper slip pocket that can fit your phone or some smaller items. And then as far as the connection points, you only have three connection points. So this bag does move around a little bit more than say some other bags out there. And then on the front here, you have two mounting positions to help accommodate around a top tube bag. I don't have a ton of time with the Pro Discover, but in general, it's worked well for me when I've used it. The Pro Discover will cost you $70. Next up is the Salsa EXP half frame bag. This bag comes in a variety of different sizes and volumes. The bag is made out of a 500 denier nylon and a 1000 denier polyester. The bag comes with a variety of different daisy chains so that you can mount your Velcro straps based on your specific bike. The non-drive side again has a very small slip pocket with additional pockets within. And then on the drive side, you've got one just really large compartment. The Salsa EXP half frame bag runs for 89 USD. Finally, we have the Revelate Designs Tangle. And right here, this is a piece of history because while well, this is actually one of the first bike packing bags that I've ever owned, I bought it in 2013, but it is also the first half frame bag as we know them today. So this is the updated Tangle from Revelate Designs. It comes in a variety of different sizes and volumes. The bag itself is made out of an X-Pack as well as some ballistics nylon. The bag comes with a variety of different mounting points, actually seven total. And then on the front here, you've got a daisy chain so that you can accommodate any different top two bag configurations. Maybe the coolest feature of this bag is Revelate's zip stretch zipper design, which is essentially what connects to the zipper here. It stretches, so when you pack your frame bag really tight with awkward items, it actually kind of flexes a little bit to get over those awkward items, so it doesn't put any undue stress on the zipper itself. The drive side has just a very open and large compartment, and then it has the ability to mount a pump or some tent poles on the top of the bag. And then on the non-drive side, you've got a slip pocket with two additional pockets within the pocket itself. The Revelate Designs Tangle, as I mentioned, comes in a variety of different sizes, but all of the bags run for 90 USD. So you're probably asking yourself, where can I find all these bags in one location? Well, we actually have just that. We just published the half frame bag and wedge gear index and you can click on the link right here to visit that page. In general, we have a ton of gear indexes on our website that highlight similar products like that in one spot. So I will leave a link to all of our gear indexes in our description below so that you can check that out. So if you wanna help support the gear indexes and all the things that you see on this YouTube channel and our website in general, I'd love to ask you to consider joining the Bikepacking Collective 
which is our annual membership through bikepacking.com. I'll leave a link in the description below so that you can learn more about that. Another helpful step is to hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. And now it's time to hear from you. I've talked enough today. I'd love to hear what specific half frame bag wedge combination bags that you're using and what you pack in them for not only your day rides, but for bike packing trips. So I wanna thank you all so much for watching today and thank you for supporting us. Until next time, pedal further.